Essendon 4, Division 1, where it is round 18. Uh, I don't know what to make of this game. Airport West takes on Taylor Marine, but they're going to play again the following week in a much more meaningful game. Mm. So I don't know what to make of this one. I'm tipping Tuller only because Airport West have a bit of a habit of just mailing it in sometimes. That's probably a fair point, actually. That's I mean, the only reason I'm yeah. tipping Tuller. I mean, they... There's no other real logical reason you know to what? go one way or the other in this you one. Know what, maybe what kind of game can we expect, Jambo? DC and um, Jeff Madden maybe just, you know... Plotting something? Yeah, just meet, just meet at... Um, I don't know where they could the meet. Link? At, no, not the link. What's the pub up? Um, Skyways. Like maybe just yeah, head in there into, on the Saturday That's afternoon. That's between the two grounds. Yeah. Yep, just head in there in the afternoon, sit in the public bar, talk about what they're going to do the week after. Um, it's really a, an irrelevant game. This is the game that you give your kids maybe from the twos. It may be the game where one team well, goes yeah. full full bore. This is what we've got. And we've seen There's any the individuals fighting years. for spots? Yeah. This is where they fight for sports. Yep, that's yeah. right. So I don't think the game's irrelevant itself. I mean, you're right. There's individuals fighting for spots, and there's. I think both teams will want to go in and win this game. There's no doubt. Yeah. yeah. I'm. T- I'm going to tip. I'm going to tip. Um, but even the home rooms factor of who finishes on top of the ladder, Jambo. Before you do give your tip, uh, given that the final is going to be at Greenvale, there's no real advantage. Irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. You want windy if it was here, yeah, if it was here, I guess in terms almost. of the bigger ground, it could favour Airport West more just because they're a bit more attacking. But like yeah. I said, it's not a so huge final, advantage. We know it's the just a theoretical at, one. Yeah. So we know the finals at Section Road. But sorry to cut you off, Jambo. You're tipping um, He's in a game that does not matter. <laughs> I'm going to go. Just going to skip your tip. Tullamarine. Tullamarine. Okay. Next game is Taylor's Lakes and Craigie Burn. You did a little bit of maths. What kind of win does Taylor's Lakes oh. need to get? 300 points. Um, is but anyway, they can get up. Taylor's Lakes. 300 points. Taylor's they need Lakes, to win by. Okay. Yeah, Taylor's best. Lakes will, will want to put a dent in Craigie Burns' season just to finish off the year. They've had a really Wouldn't that be doing year. a favour to their most heated rival, though, in Hillside? Not really, because, again, the positions are irrelevant. They're going to no, finish like third if they, or fourth. If they, if they beat up on Craigie Burn, then they're giving Hillside an advantage for that knockout final the week after. But, again, we've got that stupid buy... Where <laughs> Hillside it's nothing wrong with the buy, it's the four points that go. Well, the four it. points that go with it. So, again, it's irrelevant. Third or fourth doesn't matter. Taylor's Lakes will win at home to finish their year, and oh, it's been a great no, year. No, no I like it. to go with it's it. been a great year. Straight back, well done. Uh, Taylor's Lakes for me. Uh, I'm gonna go Craigieburn. All right, East Keelor taking on West Meadows. There is nothing but pride on the line here, but I think East Keelor's shown a bit more to suggest they can get the job done here. Yep, East Keeler for me. Hopefully, yeah. Just a hopefully a good game for Essendon for Division 1 footy. That's Usually these really teams tend to have good games um, against each other, so I think it could be some, a close match. Some good individual talent out there for both sides. Absolutely. Aaron Evans, Matty Knight, there's a few good players out there. Finally, Jakana Oak Park. I suggested a couple of weeks ago, maybe Jakana ends their season on a high and can get a win. It's going to be Robbie Fletcher's last game as coach. Michael Hooper did re-sign, I saw earlier in the week. So mm-hmm. he'll yeah. be back next year, Michael Hooper at Oak Park. But this will be Robbie Fletcher's last game at Jakana. Can they see him off with a win? No. Fair enough. Julian? <laughs> I'm not that dour, but I don't think they can. But credit to Robbie Fletcher. He has done well to get him out of trouble. No. Oak Park still <laughs> wins that one for mine. 